Hi everybody, welcome back. For once, I'm going to keep this very short and sweet. I just really want to get to this episode. I was supposed to watch it last night, but I had some technical problems with my um, tablet, which I record on. So I'm doing it tonight, finally, and yeah, that's it. Uh, this is Season 2, Episode 17, Passion. That's bold. What if, like, one of them just looked back? I've also been thinking, what's stopping Angel from coming in her room at night and killing her in her sleep? He obviously could still come back in, right? This episode already feels kind of ominous. I was just saying. How should I not feel that? That will wake me up. It speaks to us, guides us. Passion rules us all, and we obey. What other choice do we have? I just pretend that's Angel watching her sleep in a non-creepy way. He was in my room. Who? Angel. He was in my room last night. Are you sure? Positive. When I woke up, I found a picture he left me on my pillow. A visit from the pointed tooth fairy. Wait, I thought vampires can come in unless you invited them in. Yes, but uh, once you've invited them in, they're after that. They're always welcome. You know, I think there may be a mm. valuable lesson for you gals here about inviting strange men into your bedroom. Maybe there's a way they can... Oh, God. I invited him in my car once. That means he can come into my car whenever he wants. I don't think yeah, that matters. to happen to give him and his vamp pals a lift whenever they feel like it. And those guys never chip in for gas. Giles, there has to be some sort of spell to reverse the invitation, yeah. right? Like a barrier, a no shoes, no pulse, no service kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, that works for a car too. Yes, well, I, I, I can check on my. Uh, there should be. Excuse me, but have you ever heard of knocking? I'm supposed to get some books. On stop. Does this look like a Barnes and Noble? This is a school library. Sandra. Since when? Leaving stuff at night? Why doesn't he just slit her throat or strangle her while she's sleeping or cut her heart out? A little gory, but I'm to help. true. Yes, but look, it's, it's it's classic battle strategy to throw one's opponent off his game. He's, he's, he's just trying to provoke you, he's to taunt you, to to go to you into uh, some mishap or something of the sort. The na 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 approach to battle. Yes, Sandra. Once more, you've managed to boil a complex thought down to its simplest possible form. Jazz, Angel once told me that when he was obsessed with Drusilla, the first thing he did was to kill her family. Huh? I know. Drum up a spell to uh, keep him out of the house. This might help. I've been doing a little reading since Angel She changed. can help. I don't think you have that one. Thank you. So how's Buffy doing? How do you think? By the people that Angel hurt the most. My duty to them was the first thing I was ever taught. I didn't come here to hurt anyone. And I lied to you because I thought it was the right thing to do. I, I didn't know what would happen. I didn't know I was going to fall in love with you. She really does care for him. Oh, God. All oh, this music. It's too late to take that back. It always makes me want to cry all the music in the show. I just want to be right with you. I don't expect more. I just want so badly to make all this up to you. It might take time, but... I understand. But I'm not the one you need to make it up to. He's like Bookman. I'm 
Where's the fish? Did they forget to put fish in there for the scene? And what? Willow? Willow? Did you draw her a picture? <laughs> There's the fish. Never mind. <laughs> Poor fishies. Hey, sorry about your fish. Oh, it's okay. We hadn't really had time to bond yet. Although for the first time, I'm glad my parents didn't let me have a puppy. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, that would have been even more sad. So weird. Every time something like this happens, first instinct is still to run to Angel. I can't believe it's the same person. It isn't. The same it's body. completely different from the guy that I knew. Well, sort of. Except... Except what? You're still the only thing he thinks about. Strength, huh? Now. I've been up for money. I won't have you feeding me like a child, Blue. Why not? I already bathes you, carries you around, and changes you like a child. My angel, where have you been? The sun is almost up, and it can be so hurtful. We were worried. No, we weren't. You must forgive Spike. He's just a bit testy tonight. Doesn't get out much anymore. Well, maybe next time I'll bring you with me, Spike. Might be handy to have you around if I ever need a really good parking space. Have you forgotten that you're a bloody guest at my bloody home? As a guest. If there's anything I can do for you, any responsibility I can assume while you're spinning your wheels, anything I'm not already doing, that is. That's it. <laughs> he really knows how to push his buttons. soul back? That'll get her in the good graces, everybody. Did you want something? Look, I know you feel badly about what happened, and I just wanted to say good. Keep it up. Don't worry, I will. Oh, wait. Um, he misses you. He doesn't say anything to me, but I know he does. And I don't want him to be lonely. I don't want anyone to. It's 
really mature. You know that if I have a chance to make this We're good here. Let's just say that. Is that song again? Is that like Jenny and Giles' theme? Oh, yes. Could you hang those up? Thank you so much. Buffy, so how was your night? Sleepless, but no human fatalities. I found a ritual to evoke the invitation to the vampires. Oh, thank goodness. I actually had to talk my grandmother into switching cars with me last night. It's happening faster than I thought, but... 